workers across the state are examining more than 93,000 ballots as part of a hand recount in the tight U.S. Senate race. Yeah, that includes local counties where hundreds of thousands of ballots have been counted by machine and by hand. News 6's Adriana Ivashinsky joins us live from Volusia County now. And Adriana, what are you hearing from the supervisors of elections there? Well, it happened less than an hour ago that they started the recount here inside the Volusia County Courthouse. You know, this is such a tense time for them and a very passionate time to make sure all of these votes are counted. We know that right now they are looking at more than 1,700 overvotes and undervotes that were cast in the Senate race. And then tomorrow they're going to be back out here again doing the exact same thing in the Agriculture Commissioner race. Here in Volusia County, they had a total of three races that triggered a manual recount, one of them being the House District 26 seat, which after the manual recount has one of the tightest margins with Republican Elizabeth Federhoff leading Democrat Patrick Henry by only 51 votes. And the supervisor of elections says they still have those military and vote by mail ballots coming in, so they're not calling that race yet. We still have to wait for all those votes to come in before we can even certify. Plus get through these two manual recounts. Over in Seminole County, they started their manual recount at 9 this morning. They had 1,400 undervote ballots and 60 overvote ballots in the Senate race between Rick Scott and Bill Nelson and were done by noon. Then, after a quick break, they were back examining more than 7,000 undervotes and 12 overvote ballots that were cast in the race between Democrat Nikki Freed and Republican Mike Caldwell for the Commissioner of Agriculture spot. Supervisor of Election Mike Hurtel says they were done by 2.45. Now, we also visited with the Orange County Supervisor of Elections. He and his team were combing over more than 3,000 overvotes and undervotes in the U.S. Senate race. Hear what he has to say coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Volusia County, Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6. Adriana, thank you.